their national security counterparts. But prison officers say they do not feel adequately supported by the police service, particularly since their request to meet with the Commission of Police almost one year ago is yet to be fulfilled. We got responses in writing that they would have at her earliest convenience or when she has the time. And I mean, I understand that our country is not really in the best place um, especially within the last few years as it relates to crime and criminality, but I am hard-pressed to believe that in almost a year that the Goodly Commissioner could not have put aside one day um, for just probably um, a few minutes to engage the Prison Officers Association. But the top cop isn't their only source of contention. Gordon says officers continue to face threats daily, and he claims all too often their reports are not properly treated with by police officers. You, you go and you make the report and then nothing happens. The, the response is um, lackluster at best. The Prisons Officers Association says following the last amendment to the Prisons Officers Act, officers were hopeful but they say the law is not being operationalized and this is one of the main reasons why the association has requested the meeting with the top cop um, act number 25 of 2019 which speaks to you know threats against officers and the sanctions for doing same sanctions as it relates to trafficking and other sort of activity and what we realize is that Notwithstanding those amendments, notwithstanding those amendments, um, uh, threats continue to be issued, and there is no little to no action being taken. The Prisons Officers Association is also calling on the Minister of National Security to make good on his commitment to resolving the many issues at the nation's prisons. Renessa Cutting. TV6 News.